I just smell it here. Just a quick review of the look by Milton Lloyd. All right, another Milton Lloyd review. The look, poor femme, poor um. And this is a clone of CK1. Now you may ask yourself, why would you need a clone of CK1 when it's dirt cheap anyway? But look, here we go. Let's talk about performance on this one. It lasts a little bit longer than this. I get around 10 hours with this. I get about eight hours with this one. For the average Joe Soap, it's probably going to be more like eight and six. Uh, they're both, this one is moderate. This one is moderate to strong. What am I getting? If you put these ones, you're getting citrus, green notes, fruit, musk. But this one smells a little bit more masculine. And what it reminds me of is Paco by Paco Rabanne. It smells more like Paco than this guy back here. And I prefer Paco to this because it's a little bit more masculine. A little bit, slightly, a little bit kind of more old school. I'm presuming, you know, Milton Lloyd have been around since 1975. Must have the same formulation as when this was released in 1994. I think this is probably truer to the older CK1. Not that I'm familiar with the older CK1, but I prefer this one. So it's a little bit more masculine. It's got better performance. If you're a fan of Paco by Paco Rabanne, which is sometimes can be hard to come across. Yeah, you, can still, you can still get it online, but maybe not so much in the stores. Get this, like this. These are both dirt cheap. But you know, if you can get it cheaper and performs well and smells equally as good or better than the original, well, why not? If you like CK1 and you're not willing to <laughs> spend the, the dirt cheap price for these two, you know, and you want to go even cheaper again, get this one. So get that. Thumbs up from me. All right, that was my review of The Look by Milton Lloyd. If you found this video interesting, please give me a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.